<laughs> Woo! All right, ready? What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to do things a little different. We're going to be making spaghetti and fish tacos, but first, we have to go to the store and get the ingredients. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our produce. Uh, we'll get some avocados. A little trick I learned is you break off the stem and it's green, then it's good. If it's brown, it's bad. Um, I got some green shredded cabbage because I was looking for easy prep. They didn't have any red cabbage that was shredded, so I got the smallest head possible uh, for my tacos. I also got some corn on the cob. Now, if a little trick, if you pull back the husk and you take your nail and you press it into the kernel, and if it juice pops out, then you know it's going to be sweet and juicy, then that corn is good to go. Next up is some red bell pepper along with some green bell pepper. These are a staple in my kitchen. Let's go ahead and get some fresh cilantro. This will be great for the tacos, for the sauce, and actually on the fish themselves. And then lastly, let's grab some fresh limes. In my book, you can never have too many limes. I use them in all types of cooking, all types of cuisines, in drinks, gotta have limes. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff for the spaghetti. I got some whole grain pasta here. I don't do too much wheat. I also wanted to grab some tomato paste. I like my sauce a little bit thicker. And then I'll actually grab the sauce at another store. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some ground turkey now. Like I always said, there's 97% fat free, but I prefer myself to get the 93%. I think 97% is just too dry and I wind up having to add in a lot more olive oil or coconut oil. And then let's go ahead and get our fish for the fish tacos. I'm gonna use cod this time. It's a great, uh, nice flaky white fish. This will go really good in the fish tacos. We grabbed a few extra things, but now let's go over to Costco. Now Costco has a great marinara sauce that I like by White Victoria. So we'll grab that from here and then I'll grab some bottled water and then we'll get back home and let's put all this together. What's up everybody? Today we're going to be making some of my family favorites. Some spaghetti with ground turkey and some fish tacos. Let's go ahead and get some. Let's go ahead and get started with the ground turkey for the spaghetti. So I'll use one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I hope I said that right. We have one teaspoon of black pepper. We roughly have two cloves of garlic, some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and some red onion. And then I'll saute that in the pan with two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. So let's go ahead and head over to the stove and get this started. All right, so I'm already preheating my pan for the ground turkey. I have water that's been boiling for the noodles. So I'm gonna knock out two birds and one stone and get these going at the same time. So let's go ahead and add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. All right, go ahead and get that garlic in there so it can start to season and that oil up. Go ahead and add the ground turkey. Go ahead and let that brown until you uh, see no more pink. Halfway in between, I'm gonna throw in the peppers and the onions that I've already diced up. So let's get the uh, noodles going in the spaghetti. I'm gonna be using some whole grain noodles. So try not to use that pure white and rich flour. I don't like wheat. I think uh, wheat just doesn't agree with my stomach as much. So I try to limit my wheat intake. Cook the spaghetti just as the directions on the box say. So just follow the directions and you'll be okay. One thing out, though, after you finish with the spaghetti, do not rinse it. You wanna put it straight into the sauce. That way the sauce will adhere to the noodles better. So don't rinse your spaghetti sauce. 
Don't rinse your noodles. Definitely don't rinse your spaghetti sauce. All right, be back in about five, 10 minutes. Okay, so the noodles are done. I've taken them off the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and add some red pepper, green pepper, and red onion that I've already diced up uh, to the ground turkey mixture. And let that saute in there as well. Let's mix that up real quick. Now I'm going to add a lot more veggies to this. So more red pepper, more onion, green pepper. Okay. So in this pan over here, spray a little of the bottom with some olive oil spray. I'm going to take the remaining part of my garlic, turn that on, put in the garlic presser. Lifesaver. You don't have to like cut your fingers up or anything. Put that in there. You're up, making a mess. Let that saute for a couple minutes. Then I'm gonna throw the remaining uh, red pepper and red onion there and brown that up and then put the sauce on top. That is looking good. My garlic is starting to sizzle. So let's go ahead and put in the red pepper and red onion. Red onions and red pepper are already done sauteing. I'm gonna go ahead and add the marinara sauce to it. Turn this down so you don't start splatting. I don't know why I put on a white shirt when I'm cooking spaghetti. All right, it's one jar. Second jar. Yep, got myself. Good stuff. All right. Let's give that a stir. Now I'm going to take all the ground beef mixture and add that to the marinara sauce. And then let's go ahead and get ready to add the spices after that. All right, I put all my seasonings already in here and I've already measured them out. So I have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. All right, give that a good stir. And that can cook for another 15 to 20 minutes, simmering on low heat. All right, so to the spaghetti, I'm gonna add one can of tomato paste to make it a little bit thicker. Now, some people might like it a little runnier. I like a thick sauce. So let's go ahead and add that. All right, I've got my griddle here. This is where I'm gonna cook the fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this preheated. All right, so the spaghetti is on the stove simmering. Let's go ahead and get everything started for the fish tacos. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some corn ready. Uh, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this chili lime seasoning that I got from Trader Joe's. Just sprinkle that over the corn. And then I'm going to wrap this corn in saran wrap. It's a little bit of water, about a tablespoon of water on the bottom. And I'm going to put this in the microwave for four, mu four minutes each air. So that'll cook nicely for eight minutes in the microwave. So while the corn's in the microwave cooking, let's go ahead and uh, prepare the cod. Now these fillets are already pre-packaged. They're about four ounces each. This is going to be make it's going to make it real easy to go ahead and meal prep though. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and season the cod. I have one fourth cup of cilantro leaves, uh, one tablespoon of the chili lime season that I said, like I said before, I got from Trader Joe's. We're going to use two tablespoons of grapeseed oil, or you could use olive oil or coconut oil, whatever floats your boat. Uh, and then I'm also going to use the juice of two limes. Then once I put this on here, I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes before I put it on the grill. Let's 
go ahead and prepare the sauce for the topping on the uh, fish tacos. I'm going to use one cup of mayo. I'm going to use two tablespoons of the fresh chopped cilantro that I just chopped up a little bit ago. I'm going to use a pinch of salt, uh, half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then two uh, chipotle in adobo sauce. So two chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. I'm going to go ahead and blend that up. And then we'll add two limes to it as well to give it that creamy texture. So let's go ahead and prep all that. Did a little impromptu taste test. Try that one more time. That's gonna be good. So, corn's cooking. Let's go ahead and get the uh, tortillas in the oven. I already have the oven preheating on 200 degrees. I'm gonna cook these for about five minutes. I'm preheating, I'm gonna turn it down to medium high heat. This has been marinating for about a half an hour now. Go ahead and put it on the hot griddle for about three minutes on one side. <laughs> All right, so got the fish done. The corn out of the microwave. Took the taco shells out of the oven and we're ready to start putting stuff together. But first, let's go ahead and take the corn off the air. So I have this like little nifty tool. I don't know where I got this from. It was probably like eight bucks or so. Just kind of grab it in your hand, put it on the corn. And all of it just comes off. All right, let's go ahead and put these together. So get my scale, zero that out. That's one little light lunch ready to go. All right, I'm going to put the rest of these together. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a lime to each of those containers. So turns out I didn't have a lot of fish. So I was only able to make four, so I'll probably have to make some more later. So I'll put a lime in there as well. Um, we'll do avocado on the side as well, but I'll cut those up on the day. That way they don't turn brown. But as far as the sauce goes, package it out about two ounces. Now this has a little bit of a kick to it. So if you don't want it as spicy, maybe you don't add the extra adobo uh, pepper. I said I was going to add two. I wind up adding like three or four, then also some of the sauce. So I gave it a little extra kick. So, and I also put some of the corn in there as well. So great light little snack uh, meal, really. Let's go ahead and prep the spaghetti. I've zeroed out my scale. Go ahead and put about four ounces of spaghetti in there. So that's what four ounces of spaghetti looks like. All right, and do about a half a cup of ground turkey sauce. Maybe actually just a cup. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll go ahead and finish prepping the rest of these meals and I'll come back in a little bit. All right, so meal prep is done. So. I don't have a lot of fish meals here because I don't like to eat fish multiple days out. So what I'll do is I'll probably in about a day and a half, I'll go ahead and cook another bag of fish and go ahead and put together some more tacos. I already have all the shells made. I have the sauce made. I have all the stuff for the cabbage and corn already. So I just need some more fish. So let's go ahead and put all these together and wrap the things up. Remember to stay focused, stay positive and keep it moving. 
good day.